When you're ready to examine the fundus, switch on the ophthalmoscope light and adjust it to the large round beam of white light. Also make sure the light is bright enough. Set the ophthalmoscope to zero diopters. After darkening the room, ask the patient to look over your left shoulder at a specific spot on the wall. Look over my left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Using your left eye and left hand, examine the patient's left eye. From 15 inches away and 15 degrees lateral to the patient's line of vision, shine the light beam on the pupil. Locate the red reflex, which should appear as an orange glow in the pupil. Note any opacities that interrupt the red reflex. While holding the red reflex in view, approach the patient's eye along a 15 degree line lateral to her line of vision until the ophthalmoscope is close to the eye. Try to find the optic disc by following the retinal vessels toward the place where they converge. Now bring the optic disc into sharp focus by adjusting the ophthalmoscope lens. Note the color of the optic disc the clarity of its margin, and the size of the physiologic cup. Normally, the disc is yellowish-orange to creamy pink and round or oval with well-demarcated margins. It may be surrounded by white or pigmented rings or crescents. The optic cup to disc ratio is usually less than one to two. Moving your head and instrument as a unit, Inspect the retinal vessels and adjacent retina by following the vessels from the disc to the periphery in four directions. Note the relative size and color of the smaller, lighter arteries and the larger, darker veins. Look for changes such as nicking of the veins at arteriovenous crossings. There should be none. Examine the surrounding retina for hemorrhages or exudates, noting their size, shape, color, and distribution. Again, there should be none. Finally, examine the fovea and surrounding macula by directing your light beam laterally or asking the patient to look directly into the light. The tiny bright reflection at the center of the fovea may help orient you. To focus on more anterior structures, such as opacities in the vitreous or lens, change the diopter on the ophthalmoscope to more positive numbers, such as plus 10 or plus 12. Repeat the ophthalmoscopic examination on the patient's right eye using your right hand and right eye. 